Hi, I'm Deacon Tony, and I'm from Michigan. As I was drinking my third cup of coffee today, I started thinking, our Catholic faith is so rich that there's got to be a saint of coffee drinkers. Well, I was close. There is a patron saint of coffee house keepers and owners. That man is Saint Drogo. Saint Drogo was born in the 12th century in northern France. He was born into a wealthy family, uh, but when he was young he decided early on that he was going to give away all of his wealth and to live the life of a shepherd, modeling himself after the Good Shepherd, Jesus Christ himself. Later on, he decided that he was going to give himself even more and decided to become a hermit, to live in a cell and to pray for the rest of his life. Now, the townspeople there helped him build the cell attached to the church, and his cell had one window, which allowed food and the Eucharist to be brought to him. There are two miracles attributed to St. Drogo. The first one happened while he was in his cell. The church caught fire, and the townspeople pleaded with him to leave his cell. The church was on fire, but he wouldn't, because he made a promise to God to be in that cell and to pray. So he didn't leave. And when the fire burned itself out, all that was left was St. Drogo in the cell. God had protected him. The second miracle is one of my personal favorite miracles, the miracle of infinite heaviness. When St. Drogo died, his family wanted his body brought back to be buried in his hometown. So they loaded the casket onto the cart. But as they moved towards closer to the border of the town, the casket got heavier and heavier and heavier until they got to the border and they could no longer move it. They figured out that God wanted him to be buried in that town. They didn't want him to leave. So they turned around and lo and behold, the casket was light again and they buried him in that town. So the next time you have a cup of coffee, think of St. Drogo. St. Drogo, pray for us.